Today we learn four directional movement animations. We will start off with a fresh project, setting the background. Begin by adding a background object to our scene. Let's navigate to the asset store, go to backgrounds, and choose a suitable grass object. Drag the selected grass object onto our scene, and since it's a tiled image, effortlessly cover the desired area without altering the size. Player object. Head back into the asset store, and access characters, then RPG characters. Select the conjurer character and examine the available animations, down, left, right, and up. Integrate the conjurer onto our scene, again by dragging out the object, and we'll ensure the aspect ratio remains consistent by holding down the shift key and dragging the corner outward. Applying behaviors. Double click on the conjurer object to access its properties. Navigate to the behaviors tab. First, add the built-in top-down behavior. Enhance the acceleration and deceleration significantly so it takes on an instant effect. Remove both rotate object options and enable diagonal movement. And click apply to save the changes. Animating movement. The four predefined animations down, left, right, and up align with the default key presses in our events. As you can see, key press has a condition for up, left, down, and right keys. So we can implement all of these with a single action under the conjurer, set the animation using an expression equal to last key press. With a swift preview, we can observe the character seamlessly transitioning between animations based on the input direction. Impressive work? You've mastered a simple mechanic, but are you ready to take on the next level and create an entire game? Join me as we delve into the creation of Super Mario World from the ground up. Your journey into game development is just beginning. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.